Hi, my name is Em Cushington, and I did my research on Dr. Robert Payne. Dr. Robert Payne was born in, on April 13th, 1933, and died recently on June, 6, June 13th, 2016. Um, as a child, he was he had a keen eye for detail and an interest in nature and the environment. And as he was growing up, that love really influenced his future career as an ecologist. He received his bachelor's degree from Harvard University in 1954 and his PhD from the University of Michigan in 1961. Um, he also joined the faculty of the Department of Zoology at the University of Washington in 1962, where he remained throughout his career and was actually chairman for eight of those years. Um, so Robert Payne did what is what he's known for is his like finding of a keystone species so a keystone is actually part of i think the roman culture or roman architecture um so when you see an arch you'll see one little stone in the middle at the top which is actually the stone that's keeping it all together it's known as the keystone so when he was studying the ochre starfish or the sea stars um, they actually preyed on the mussels in a certain population along the rocky shore of Mackay Bay on the tip of the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. So he learned, so his study was when he removed the starfish, the keystone species, um, all the mussels in the area, since they were the ones that were being preyed on by the starfish, once the starfish were removed, the mussels were able to take over basically that environment and it actually knocked out a bunch of the species from that environment because there was no room for them to be anymore. And then he found a similarity in another environment with um, sea otters and sea urchins and kelp. And so the sea, ot sea otters fed on the sea urchins and so when he decided to remove the otters from that environment he noticed that the sea urchins also took over the environment like the mussels did and the sea urchins actually fed on the kelp which ended up like getting rid of all the kelp which is where a bunch of the other little fish and stuff would live so it also wiped out all those species so i just thought this was a really interesting thing and i actually learned about dr robert payne my freshman year of high school um, when my biology teacher showed us a video of this research that he did and he and then when i took ap biology my senior year i remembered this and i remembered how interesting it was and my teacher actually reintroduced the video in class at one point and it just like he's actually the one that made me realize i wanted to go into ecology and and evolution and i'm still like deciding what i want to do with those but i just found his work really interesting and i could imagine myself in the field doing studies on my own organisms depending on whatever it is and so maybe i'll do keystone species but that's my personal relationship and that's why i chose him because i just immediately thought of him and i think his um theory of this keystone species is just really interesting and he's actually the one that founded it and so it's a very big part of ecology now being a keystone species so i just thought it was really interesting and so yeah robert Payne. and if you want to see this I only have my iPad, but this is a picture of him with his starfish. So yeah, thank you.